This guy's a self-described bourbon mooch, and his partner in crime is supposedly a bourbon sommelier. And they do bourbon reviews on the YouTube channel Whiskey Vault. So they ought to know what they're talking about when they say a bottle of Blanton's tastes like this crap right here. So let's blend up their tasting notes and see if they're right. So on the nose, obviously a super classic bourbon. I was about to say, it's as if you took all of the barrel char and all of the botanicals and all of the corn dust and you just glazed everything with honey. Unfortunately, I don't have any botanicals. I bought flowers for this and they died before I could film the video. So we're actually gonna start with Buffalo Trace White Dog Mash Bill number one as our base, which is very similar to the alcohol that would be in Blanton's. I think technically it's mash bill number two, but it's as close as we can get. And then we're going to glaze it with honey. It's not quite astringent Earl Grey tea. No, but there is an almost mint note in it. Like in the sense that it has that mint where it kind of lifts and feels cool. Yeah. So that like temperature wise, it feels cool when you smell it. Cooling mints. You know those strawberry hard candies with like the, the juicy insides? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get a little bit of that hard candy vibe. Strawberry hard candy. And then right on the tail end of that nose, it's always just this little flash of vanilla. A little flash of vanilla. There's a little spike of barrel pepper. Pepper. So I think that's our tasting notes. Let's see if this little blender will do it. I feel like the honey's still on bottom. There we go. Let's give her a try. So first glass, Blanton's. 93 proof, good old fashioned Blanton's. Oh God, that smells like vomit. <laughs> this might be the worst one yet. Uh, I'm gonna save that till after. <sighs> okay, I get strawberry. How does it turn into strawberry vomit with what we put in it? It's gotta be the, oh, it's gotta be the white dog. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh. Okay, it tastes better than it smells. It tastes, but it still does not taste good. It still does not taste good, but it tastes better than it smells. I definitely get strawberry and mint and a little pepper and some honey. So I get all those flavors. Those flavors are much more subtle in Blanton's. I get some of what they're saying much more subtle. So I, I'm gonna give them a C, C plus on their tasting notes. Maybe if we'd have had the botanicals, that would have made all the difference here. So uh, let me know, do you get these same tasting notes on Blanton's? What are your thoughts? Better yet, whose tasting notes should we try next?